Nico has no qualms about attacking people. He is manic. Or anything else he can sink his teeth into. Nico has bitten, and that's a problem. He turns to his next victim. Nico brazenly turned around and bit me. If I hadn't have been wearing boots, that bite would have really, really hurt. The fact that Nico bit and held on is very worrying. He just bit me there. And I actually wasn't even moving. Right. And he just went to my foot and bit me. I feel like Cortez is quite a gentle person and it's hard for him to be authoritative, but that's what he needs to be. I'm the seventh person that Nico's bit. I had a leather boot on. But imagine if that was a child and that was a child's face. That bite is hard. Okay. I think I've seen enough biting. I don't need to see any more. Thank you. Okay. Now she wants to have a serious discussion about what she's seen. Nico is an explosive, impulsive dog. And the symptoms of this are the biting and the constant barking. All right. We have some serious issues here. Nico has bitten. He's bitten me. I'm going to lay it on the line here because you know that's what I do. Nico does not have a strong leader in his life. You're wishy-washy. My job is made a lot harder by the fact that you haven't done really anything with him. And absolutely, without a doubt, if he bites again, he is very likely to be put down. So what would the loss of your dog mean for you? I can't imagine my life without Nico. Well, it's on the cards. So start imagining it. Whatever I have to do uh, to make him a better dog, I commit to you that I will do that. With Cameron and Cortez committed to change, Victoria can tackle Nico's aggression towards guests head on. I have a friend of yours outside okay. who's very kindly agreed to come over and uh, do some training with us. I've set up four rules that will help people be safe inside the house. Victoria's first rule is that Cortez must be holding Nico while anyone enters the home to prevent him from lunging. So get up and pick him up like you usually do. I think that guest training will be a challenge for Cortez, but this is a perfect time for him to step up and be a leader for Nico. Let your guest in and tell her to ignore him. <laughs> Hello, Tamika. Welcome. Hi. Ignore him. Hi. Nice to meet you, Cameron. I'm a little nervous coming in the house because I heard Nico is a pretty terrifying little dog. Have a seat. All right. The second rule is after a couple of minutes when Nico's calmed down, then he can have Nico on the floor, but he needs to have a leash on him. Let him just hang out with you either in your arms or on the floor. So, Tamika, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good. I would relax yourself. OK. Make sure that your body language, too, is not on edge, because that really translates to him. The third step is for the guest to play with Nico from a safe distance. Good. Good. And by doing that and by playing Set. a little bit with him, boy. again, you're giving him another activity. You're giving him something else to, to do. do. Right, instead yeah. of focusing on the guest. You bet. OK. You bet. Good. He wants to come and, right. and just investigate and take a look. Exactly. Now, move him. Take him out. Walk him out. Walk him out. Walk him out. As soon as the guests moved, Nico was OK to begin with, and then he started to bark at her. He has to know that there are boundaries. OK. Wait there for a couple of seconds. OK. And then bring him back in. When he aggresses like that, when he starts, you're going to go up, up and you're going to take him out every time. Okay. So he sees it actually gets removed. Save all the cuddles and everything for when he's on your lap. Okay. For the final step, Victoria allows the guest to slowly move around. This gradually desensitizes Nico to the presence of guests in his space. Okay, praise him. That was good. Good. You don't even have to touch him when you praise okay. him. Just good boy. If you could get up again. Good. Good boy. Very nice. Very good. After a while, Nico seemed to get it. And that was a really, really good sign. All righty. 
Praise him. Good boy. That's it. Good. Now, out. Good. Thank you, Tamika. I think the guest coming over training is going to be our biggest obstacle or hurdle that we'll have to overcome. You have a long road. Yes. To walk. I really hope Cortez and Cameron can continue with my rules. It's so important because Cortez can't afford another bite from Nico. Back at home, the roommates have invited a friend to the house to practice the guest training. Nico is really aggressive, and the last time that I was here, I literally was jumping on the kitchen counter because he was lunging at me. So my heart is really racing right now. Hey, hey Craig. How are you? Where is Nico? He's right here. So have all you have to do, yeah, just have a seat. Don't make any eye contact with him or any sudden movements. OK. All right. Great, Cortez. I love the fact that you're holding Nico and you've attached his leash. That's going to keep your guests safe. So I have him on the leash, so don't worry. Just... Oh, throw him in a toy. Throw it. Throw him in a toy, yeah. Wait a minute. Nico just barked at your guest. You seem to have forgotten what we talked about to remove him immediately. Oh, come on. Good. That's the take charge attitude I want to see, Cortez. He's on that leash, right? He's on the leash. He's on the leash. So don't act scared. We do it. We're gonna go in there. No study. Maybe I should sit down for a second and give him a moment <laughs> to kind of calm down. He is manic. Let's give it a whirl. Stop. Stop. Why are you picking Nico up? I don't want to put him down. No, 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 no. You're rewarding him again. I told you, no praise unless he's calm. All right. Well, thanks for coming by. All right. Thank you for coming. All right, so let me know if we go on the Linda's. OK. That was atrocious. You tried for five minutes and then gave up completely. I thought you were committed to this training. Mr. Nico. Cortez was very disappointed, I could tell, and I wasn't satisfied at all. So it's just something that we're going to have to continue to practice. The guest training, I have to say, you've got a long way to go, obviously, with him. We're trying to teach him, you know, guests are OK. You don't have to be scared of them. Right. But at the same time, if you do show this negative behavior, you will get removed. The guest training still requires work. But now, at least they know that Nico is not going to bite any of their guests. He's not going to be a liability towards them. There are going to be no lawsuits, because they've got the situation under control. You know, training is so much of teaching the dog, but it's also management as well. Use what is ever easiest on your dog, and it keeps people safe, because at the end of the day, we don't want him right. to end up where so many aggressive dogs end up. Yeah. It's been a very drastic change. She will definitely be missed. We got lots of things we have to continue to work on, and hopefully we're on our way up. <laughs> Bye, Nico. Be a good boy. <laughs> All right, guys, well done. All right. Thanks so much. See you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye. I'm really sad to leave Cameron and Cortez because they, they're wonderful people, but they've also got wonderful dogs. And I know that if they continue to work, those dogs are going to be successful. Hey. Hey. How are you? How are you? Good. Good huh? to see you. Good to see you as well. He's better. Yeah. <laughs> We've actually been able to have a few people over. Nico is 100% better than he was before. I, I'm actually shocked. Like, I just couldn't believe it. Like, it, it was a completely different dog.